Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about OR gate implementation by using diode. Okay, so this is widely used uh, circuit in the industry for ORing the two signals, right? So so this configuration is widely used. So uh, this is diode. This is diode and this is register. So that is why it is called diode register logic, right? So if you look the truth table of OR gate here, so let's say V1 and V2, V2 and V3 are your two inputs and your V out is output. That means your V out equals to logical logical addition of your two input signals that means logical addition of v2 plus v3 so so in the or gate if your both inputs are low that means your output is low otherwise your output is always high okay so so in the or gate if your both inputs are low then only your output is low otherwise high so so if i say input low that means it is zero volt and if i say high that means it is five volt so here i have defined only two state for high five volt and for low that is ground zero volt so let us run the simulation and verify this truth table right so i will run the simulation and uh, i will verify the truth table so let us say if your v2 is 0 v3 is 0 that means your both input are tied together v2 and v3 and this is connected to 0 so here you can see here you have 0 that means if your both inputs are 0 let us say what is output if your both inputs are 0 your output is you can see it is coming in fanta volt like it is zero okay so in the second case your v2 is zero while v3 is one so in the second case your v2 is zero and v3 is one so let me connect it likewise your v2 is zero that means you have to connect your v2 to zero volt and you have to connect your v3 to five volt so in that case your output should be high that means 5 volt let us run the simulation and you can see whenever uh, if your v2 is connected to 0 v3 is connected to 1 that means 5 volt your output is 4.7 volt it is very closer to 5 volt the 5 volt there is a diode drops comes under the picture right now let us consider the third scenario your v2 is 1 and your v3 is 0 right so your v2 is 1 that means it is going to connect 5 volt and your v3 is 0 that means it is going to connect 0 volt right if you run the simulation here you can see your output is here is your output is 4.7 volt again 4.7 volt that means if your v2 is 1 that is if your v2 is connected to the 5 volt your v3 is connected to the 0 volt your output is 5 volt here right let us verify the fourth scenario then your v2 and v3 both are connected to the 5 volt what is the output so v2 and v3 tied together and it is connected to the 5 volt let me run the simulation and show you so i run the simulation i i found this that if your v2 is 5 volt v3 is 5 volt your output is 4.7 volt that means closer to the 5 volt okay so hope you understand how do you implement or gate by using diode register logic by using diode if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video